Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another creation operator that is timer in the RxJS. What is this timer? Timer just like the interval, it also emits the incremental values. Uh, something like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. It will increment the values. It will emit the values to an, in an observable. So then what is the difference between this interval and the timer? Timer has some extra property something like when it has to start emit the values. We can also we can also control the first emission value. So when I need to emit the first value, then afterwards when I need to emit the values. So these two things we can use, we can control that one using the timer. Here if you try to see the syntax of this one, timer, first one is a due time. So when it needs to start executing the first value. And the second one is an interval. Interval means at what particular interval I need to emit the values. So these are the two things. And third one is a scheduler. Schedule, scheduler means nothing but uh, it could be an async scheduler or uh, something like that. So default one is an async scheduler. They are saying that default is an async scheduler here. So hope you understood about this one. So first one is a due time. Default is zero. <coughs> that means immediately it will emit the values. And the second one is the interval. At what time we need to generate the value? At what time we need to send the values? So a scheduler means the scheduler how we need to deliver. So let's try to see this one in the practical implementation. Now, if I try to go here, let us try to create timer operator. In the operators.html, I am creating here timer. And here also I am creating timer. And if you go to the app routing, here we need to add it timer. And here I can add timer operator. So let us so timer operator component. Now let us go to the timer operator component. Let us close these all things. Now here let us assume that I have a source dollar. I have a timer. Okay. So this is a timer. So let us add this timer at the top. So timer need to be imported from the RxJS. And here we need to give something like 1000. Okay. Now, if I try to subscribe to this source, that is a due time. Subscribe, I will show you what is the value it will be printed. Console.log data. Now, if you try to add this timer of 1000 means, so after one second, it will print the value 0 and it will stop and it will immediately complete. So, this is the first basic thing about the timer. If you try to see here and if I click on the timer, after one second, it will print the zero and it will stop. It will complete. Now, if you want to go on emitting the values, after one second, if you want to emit the values for every two seconds, let's assume. So first, after one one second, it has to start uh, emitting the values. Zero will print it, and then every for every five seconds or three seconds, I want to emit the value one, two, three, four like that means. So second parameter, you need to give something like two thousand. So two thousand means. So first, after one second, okay, first value will be printed as zero. And for every 2 seconds, it will be printed as 1, 2, 3 like that. Now, if you try to see the output, if I try to refresh, immediately after 1 second, it will try to print the value. So, it has printed the value and for every 2 seconds, it will print the 0, 2 like that. So, this is the timer. So, you can control the first value when to emit and also the interval of this one. So, when, it, when I need to emit the all the values, this is the interval. Normally, this timer, what we can do is, so this timer, how we will be using that one is, for example, let us say that I have a data. So, this one emits a values of A, comma B, comma C, okay. So, now I want to subscribe to this one, to this observable after 3 seconds. So, that means what I can do, so timer of 3000, I can keep timer of 3000 and I can keep the pipe here. So, we can use the concat map, higher order mapping operator and I can pass this one. So, I can pass this one data dollar, okay. And I can subscribe to this one, sorry, one second. Yeah, I can subscribe to this one. So, I can pass the data. So, if you try to see so, after 3 seconds, you will be able to see the output. So, now if I try to refresh this page, so this is refreshing this page. So, 0, 1 will be printed after 3 seconds immediately, it will start emitting the values. What happened here? Yeah. 
So, 1, 0, 1 will be printed immediately, ABC has been printed, see. So, for every after 3 seconds, 3 seconds after 3 seconds, so this has been executed. So, that means, so if you want, if you have an observable, you want to subscribe to that observable for three, after 3 seconds or something like that means, then you can use this timer, okay. And uh, you, can, uh, you can, you can say that why can't we use this set timeout. So, set timeout also does the same thing, right. So, I can use the set timeout and I can subscribe to this data. <coughs> dot subscribe of something like this. I can also use this one, right? You can say, yeah, we can use this one. Just I am telling you the timer where we, where it will be useful for us. So I can use like this also after three seconds. So three seconds immediately it will subscribe and it will try to emit the data. So this is also one and the same only, but I am showing you in the timer operand how we can achieve this one. Zero, you will get ABC, ABC. Okay. And another one where we can see this one is, for example, if you try to see, I will try to comment out this one all. Let us assume that uh, we have an interval, okay, interval of 1000. So, that means for every 1 second, it will try to send the data, subscribe of data. So, I am using console.log of data, okay. So, this is normal interval. Now, wow, how could this values will be printed? So, it, interval will not immediately emit the data. It will wait for 1 second, okay. It will wait for 1 second, then 0 will be printed, then after 1 second, 2. 1, 2, like that it will be printed. Now, if I try to see the output, so after 1 second, 0 will be printed. For example, if I try to keep the 5000 here, then you will understand, 0 will not be printed. It will wait for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds only, 0 will be coming. So, through the interval. Whereas, in the timer operator, you can control the first value also, when to emit the value. So, if you want to replicate the same thing in the timer, how can you replicate this one? So, timer okay wait for 5000 seconds or otherwise immediately emit the value and after after emitting the second value wait for 5000 seconds now what could be the difference between these two so zero will be printed immediately and after every 5 seconds one value two value will be printed so now if you try to see the output for me here zero will be printed immediately because of the timer and uh, thereafter 0 1 will 0 is printed from the interval and 1 is printed from the timer so we are controlling the first value when to emit also here if you want to control this first value also means then you can give 5000 and 5000 this one will become exactly like interval only if you try to see the output now how it will become let's try to see both zeros will come at a time see one so interval what the interval operator is doing the same thing we have replicated that one using the timer so this is what timer is Hope you understood about this timer. So, timer is nothing but what I can say is it will increment incrementally, it will try to emit the value, but we can control the first value and also we can control the interval. So, uh, for, a, for a, at what time of interval, at what time interval we need to emit the data. So, we can also control that one. So, this is all. And the third option I can I can tell you is the third thing, the third parameter is the scheduler. So, default one is an async scheduler. So, if you want to convert it into the queue scheduler also, you can convert it. That is not a problem. So, we have learned about this uh, async scheduler, queue scheduler and all those things we have applied. You can apply it and you, if you want, you can also check. Hope you understood about this timer operator. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.